Okay, I feel I, I have to make an extension um, to completing the equation of probability regarding human life beyond our world. Uh, I feel I need to um, nail the point a little bit and perhaps try to uh, somehow enhance the significance and the seriousness of the point that introducing the missing factor to uh, the uh, equation of probability means. Uh, I'm going to go over again the, 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 the graph, in other words, in which I made reference to how uh, and what is uh, equatable to a, a year's worth of of um, this human caravan that has been human civilization it's only been this last day in which we um, started building temples and cities and and um, empires and then it's only been during this l very last hour did I say day before okay I should have said day before it is only during this uh, last hour that we are traveling to other planets in the solar system, healing micro uh, microbiological um, illnesses. Um, you know, becoming the the. In other words, the graph of our intelligent growth. Of the, of the species is just skyrocketing the more it gets compressed into the last minutes of this year-long evolution of humanity, of human civilization and if you apply that to uh, the any of the billions of possibilities of the same, let's just say that it's the same species, the same kind of life that appears in other worlds. To not get too crazy, to just, let's keep it conservative, to, uh, uh, limited to what we know. We have demonstrated ourselves as a world can happen, or we can be. Um, and imagine, that means that out of those billions of planets, hundreds of thousands, very likely, have lived um, ten times longer than us, perhaps less, or perhaps a hundred times longer than us. And that means that when that skyrocketing um, sudden increase of intelligence is possible, it God knows where it leads, <laughs> how intelligent we can actually become. Now let's define what we know about our intelligence. Look at the things that we do. We are attempting to clone our own body. We are, we're, we're trying to bring back, we talk about conceptually, an extinct species. So we, we, the first thing we do, it seems, is we really want to be able to get a, a hold of, of uh, healing and curing and modifying and messing, tinkering with biology. Uh, we want to create, we build, we the thing we fantasize about uh, building uh, structures, engineering that envelops the world. Uh, so you can see where, and 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 of course there is also the um, how challenged we are by the confrontation between our great capacity and our primitive selves. It seems to descend to hurting one another uh, instead of uh, focusing on the healing, on the growing, on the on the supporting each other to be a healthier uh, super community. So all of these things give us a scenario of uh, what these other already practically verified <laughs> because the statistics are such that it's almost as if we had evidence that life does exist and that we are no secret <laughs> or no challenge but rather we have been either created or 
are intentionally living something that uh, we're living a way that is intended already. In other words, we're coming in late to the realization of something that has already been happening. Um, and yet, it seems that we have the freedom to to discover it. We have the freedom to discover it, and means perhaps we're meant to figure it out on our own. Something. <laughs> and um, what was I getting at? Oh, that it touches. Why I I, I want to sort of underline again the significance of this because I think it touches immediately on. Uh, philosophy, the um, philosophies and on theology. Uh, immediately, you start seeing uh, when you start considering different uh, streams of reasoning and this new completed uh, equation of probability. You see that not necessarily does it negate some of the things that uh, would now be misinter have uh, be seen as having been misinterpreted in scripture but it would not necessarily uh, deny a lot of the things that we kind of believe from ancient times or many books and uh, it would stimulate how we uh, maybe we instead of being arbitrarily um, dismissive about our own contrast regarding good and evil philosophy collective or individualism and things that are always we treat with what can we think of next perhaps it would help us instead uh, revisit f philosophies of of, um, of of social development and how we are towards one another and how we raise our children and, and really s realize how much more important things that we already knew and were talking about and then we just kind of forgot and dismissed and went somewhere else actually were. So um, I think it's the completing the equation basically takes us to a place where we just want to stop and breathe basically. We just want to stop and say okay you start looking around it means we are they're watching us <laughs> they're watching us realize that they're watching us <laughs> you know it's a completely it's already past the point of of saying i wonder if there's alien life anywhere it's a it's a place that it throws you into an open uh space and anything is possible because uh, w one of the things that we also have demonstrated as a civilization is our our prowess and our um, ability to fool, to create deception. So we could be living something that's an illusion in order to for our creators to sustain and nurture themselves. We don't know anything. We don't know at all. But what we do know is that w we are... <laughs> already um we're already in the empty space we already have been um you know they came before us in other words we're not going to discover uh, because the hypothesis of discovering life elsewhere beyond the world basically says we would surprise them <laughs> right <laughs> we never think of them already having found us we always think we're going to find them and so it turns around the whole thing, the whole hypothesis of uh, of uh, life beyond the world, and it makes us also become humble and realize, well, no, it's the other way around. The poss the probability would indicate that we already would have been found long time ago by just by the sheer probability of much greater of, of billions of cases of much greater intelligence. So once you turn it around, it makes you kind of, it changes everything. It's a clean slate. And so at that very point, you start wondering again, look at the world and look at the way we're treating each other and ourselves as a civilization, as a, a single collective, as a species, with a whole new different light. Because now we're being witnessed, in other words, <laughs> or we're being uh, intended upon. Uh, we're no longer uh, see um, 
it's it, like I said in the first video. It's hard to find words to to convey what this means because, in a sense, it's a call to maturity. It's a call to care for our species a lot more. And all of a sudden, it's it's similar. It's kind of similar to when how. Uh, people in a community are shallow and they fight amongst each other and they don't care and they disregard and dismiss each other and all of a sudden they have an enemy. And once they have somebody to uh, to get angry at, and to, it seems that there are natural forces that unite the collectivity to fight against something that's um, that's attacking them or that's their, uh, you know... Uh, invasively a threat or something well it's not the same but it does change our the 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 scenario of the world in this way all of a sudden you know i really don't know what else i can say this it's but um and i i kind of recognize that i was a, a little reckless Sometimes uh, I, can, I can be a little reckless with it. I, I realize things are a certain scale, and I will put them out in the, in the, in public um, in domain. I don't know because I I trust there's always people that are much more mature, much more intelligent, and know what to do with things that will benefit more people than I can even imagine. So. Uh, and I don't see how anybody can can do anything destructive with this, with the completion of this equation of probability regarding um, regarding human life beyond our world. Okay, so happy New Year again, and um, I don't know. Looking forward to see what people have to say about this. So long.